Hello everyone, let's talk about the new pet system I started to work on today. So it's supporting both cosmetic and combat pets, but I'm going to be showing only combat pets for this video. So the way it's working is that um, I added a new effect type. So if we look at this here, we see that we have the Bone Warrior. It's an effect type, uh, I mean, it's an effect of type pet. Uh, the pet type is combat. And we have a pet prefab, which is just a normal NPC prefab, meaning that um, I made it possible. Well, it's not I made it possible, but I wanted to make it very easy for you to convert an NPC to a pet or the other way around. So it's using the same prefab type with only one difference. So if you um, click on this prefab here so that we can see it in the project field. Um, here you see that we have the node combat manager. And there is now a fourth type. So um, now nodes, combat nodes can be pets. That's the only difference between an NPC and a pet. So an NPC will be a mob and a pet will be a pet, obviously. So that's it. And uh, all you have to do is just to select uh, the pet or the mob one. And if the pet is selected, then it's going to follow some different logic. You know, for example, a, an NPC is just doing its own things, you know, on its own. A pet has to follow you and so on. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, it for the prefab part. Um, then you see that we have a spawn count field. So this lets you decide how many pets you want to spawn at once with this effect. This can be any number you want. Uh, one thing to keep in mind for is that um, the way uh, summoning pets works in RPG Builder is that there is a stat. Well, not only one actually, you can have any stats, but um, there is a new stat type, which is summon count. Every time you create a new stat with the type summon count, it's going to be um, affecting the amount of pet you can actually spawn. So in this case, you see that we have, the, uh, we have only one stat right now, which is affecting it, but you could have 10 or whatever you want. Um, and uh, so it's type summon count and the stat, stat function is summon count, obviously. And you see that it's starting with one. So if I take a look at my uh, human male player here and we go to summon count, you see that right now the current value is one, meaning that we can spawn only one pet. So uh, if we go back to the spawn warrior effect, you see that the count is five. So technically, if we had a, a stat um, or like a total summon count of five, we should be able to spawn five. But if I use the... Um, the warrior spawn ability you see that it spawned only one because we can only spawn one so that's pretty much it um now you see that we have this item here which is a training staff and you see that i'm going to go full screen uh you see that it's giving you plus five summon counts so that's pretty cool now that i have this equipped i can uh, use the warrior again and now it actually did summon the five different warriors so that's pretty cool and they are attacking this um for the mid targets so um pets are like i said just like any npcs um if i go to the npc panel here you see that i made new npcs for that so um well actually no it's using the uh, allied one that i already created before but i made a new one which is the human warrior ally and it's just like any other npc like i didn't have to do any kind of specific setting here um uh, it's just a normal NPC. It, they can have levels. Um, they can, I mean, they have type. You could even technically spawn a enemy pet right now. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and they have normal settings like aggro range. Um, the only setting that they need specific to them is distance from Hauner. So this is uh, when they will actually be done with killing um, the mid target. I'm going to be showing you that. It's Pretty straightforward. It's just at which distance they should stop from you so that they don't, you know, stack up on you. Um, but then they have normal abilities, just like any other NPC. I'm going to be uh, removing this dummy target here because I actually don't specially want this to, uh, <laughs> to be fighting forever. So as you can see, you know, like normal pets, they are following me. Now there is this uh, mage here. So if they come at distance and they can, you know, aggro it. The mage is going to be fighting them. In this case, I have the aggro of the mage, but so he's attacking me. But uh, they will tank for me because they will take the projectile in my way. Uh, I'm going to be spawning a mage now. Oh no, never mind. I don't have 
a um, uh, end of summon count. So let's just put it to, I don't know, 15 or whatever. Uh, there is no limit right now on how many pets you can spawn. Uh, so let's just spawn a few. And let's just go to uh, Mage Spawner. So we are here. Um, and we kind of go. So you can see that, you know, they follow us just like they should. Let's go see what happens if we start to aggro. So you see that the mage actually start aggro the um the enemy mage. So yeah, they are just fighting as normal NPC with the only difference that they are your actual pets and they are following you and you own them. So that's pretty cool. Um now um as you saw, uh I'm you know the way I set up those abilities here is that you have the spawn effect. So um for example spawn warrior or spawn mage it's the exact same one with a different uh, NPC prefab and these are triggered by an ability and here we have those two abilities here that you can see there um, and these abilities are very simple uh, they are both the same things um, so they are just self-target abilities meaning that it will not check anything um, you know uh, if it's like hitting anything it's just going to trigger the effect instantly on you which is what you would like to do most of the time um, if uh, I mean for those kind of human spells, but uh, I actually did not test that myself before this video, so I hope it's working so I don't have to restart the video. But um, technically, you should be able to um, make it as a, for example, I don't know, any type of uh, ability and spawn a pet um, if this ability actually works. So let's try with a projectile um, count one going to hit one unit and uh, so it's going to trigger the spawn uh, effect and I'm going to be um, let's leave a play mode actually for that um, because there are, there are quite a few things to do. Uh, so for the spawn ally mage let's make it like I said an ability um, this is all good we will be using the fireball projectile and the fireball animation and it's going to have a cast time of uh, 0 0.8 0 0.9 stun time that's it i think it will be a good speed counts max unit hit okay so let's try that now um when we use this ability it should already uh, be completely different so instead of um instantly be used and uh, spawns us you know um skeletons each um uh, skeleton um oh wait i forgot to do really important the projectile is now triggered as soon as we use the ability but it should be on completed so this uh, projectile will only be casted or on at the end of the cast so um i really hope it works so i don't have to restart this video but um let's go here and see what happens i'm going to be adding myself uh, never mind we already have the stuff fine we can see so yeah so i hit the enemy with my uh, fireball and as you can see it's spawning in um a pet every time so like i said i mean it was kind of a stupid example to be fair but uh, it's just to show you how flexible the entire system uh, in RPG Builder is and you can trigger effect out of any action you want. Um, I'm not sure if there is a really cool use case for that specific example, but I mean, it can be, you know, it can be a nice, nice um, feature to, to have in your game. So that's it. Uh, this video is already pretty long, probably way longer than it should be. But uh, thank you for watching, I hope you like it and uh, make sure to join the Discord, subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video.